Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and Stratomatic fanatics out there. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And uh, today I'm going to take a look at the uh, new baseball products that are out uh, that Stratomatic uh, came out with um, on their uh, first pre-order day. And uh, yes, I did get my pre-order in, and we will discuss what I got. Um, and we'll get, uh, you know, we'll get your uh, impressions out there of, uh, you know, what you're going to, what, what all of you think you're going to get, if you want to let me know. If you don't, hey. Um, anyway, so here we are, the new website. Um, now, this, uh, this upper part, is, it seems like it's new to me. Um, but uh, let's see. So here you go. You've got your listing of all the new, the big, you know, the big rectangle windows that you can click on that uh, let you know what, what's new and what's going on. You've got the current edition, which I uh, believe is the uh, 2022 uh, baseball season uh, cards. And um, you've got the 2023 Windows game, which has the 2022 season in it. You got the 1976 cards. Those three things are what I got. I got the current edition cards, the 2022 season cards the baseball 2023 windows game um with um with card image um and the 1976 cards i did not get the diamond gems i did not get the strat black that is a collector's edition card set it's all black it's the nicer quality cards kind of like i i would envision probably uh, the way they used to do the um, the Negro Leagues and some of the All-Stars or some of the uh, Hall of Fame uh, card sets. So it's going to be nice card stock with uh, just black. It's gonna That's what the card's going to look like. But it's $150 for the card set. And uh, since they, are, they only have 400 sets that they're going to sell, so there's a limit of three per customer, um... Then you've got uh, Windows Specialty Sets. You've got the Japanese Stars, the Career Historical, uh, the Baseball Daily, you know, all this stuff here. Um, the 46 uh, Negro Leagues, I may get that at some point in the future, but I didn't get it this time. I, you know, I didn't get it right away. Um, and then you've got the Neon Long Sleeve Stratomatic Shirt, which... I guess, I don't know if that's got to be pre-ordered or what the deal is, but anyway, we'll go down here, um, and we will look at my orders, just take a quick look at the box, and you can see right there, January 30th, 2023, pre-ordered $176 for what I ordered. So we'll go back to, well, we'll just go back to the Stratomatic main page. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about opening day. I'm not going to opening day. However, in the new order, and you might want to, I just want to make everybody aware of this. When you go in and you order, um, there is a actually a click button that says uh, opening day, and mine defaulted to opening day, to going to opening day and not having it sent. So just be aware of that. But anyway, um, I am not going to opening day this year. I, I've been to two of them. I, I went to the 50th anniversary, and I uh, also went another year with a, my good buddy, Chris Dufour, who has been on my channel many times. Um, but those are the only two times I've gone you know, I don't have a problem with it. It's just, it's a big logistical nightmare for me to get up to New York City um, or the New York City area to uh, to go to opening day. But I do plan to go in the future again. So um, here's what they're going to say. Check out the full opening day lineup. And uh, this may be the year to satisfy your bucket list expectation to ex, expedition 
and expectation of Glenhead, New York. Um, as always, the new cards for the latest season headline the product list. This time the set is being printed on heavier cardstock. Um, while pandemic era paper supply lists. Well, that's a good. That's good to know. It seems to be saying that even the uh, even the regular set is going to be on on better cardstock. I, I certainly a hundred percent welcome that. Uh, the Buzzworthy Stratomatic Black Limited Edition collectible set of 2022 cards printed on heavy, glossy black stock with white lettering. And those people that attend opening day and are in line by 11.30 a.m. will be entered into a raffle for the Stratomatic Black set priced at $150. It has been a long custom that, these, that those determined to be first in line arrive um, hours before Stratomatic doors open at noon. Um, there's going to be, of course, the Hall of Fame induction. Uh, six longtime contributors to Stratomatic, its community and its uh, legend, and a live episode of Stratmat humor videos. So they have a lot of stuff planned. This is. Um, you know, something that they're going back to doing. I guess they, they stopped for a couple of years, maybe, uh, because of the pandemic. And we will go back and see what else we've got here. Now, the Windows game, let's take a look at some of these, the things that are going to be different. Um, win expectancy. Your ga The game will have win expectancy um, in the game, which somehow at some at every point, I guess, in the game, maybe it's something you have to turn on. Maybe it's something you don't turn on if you don't want to. It'll show your win expectancy um, at any point in the game. Uh, play account report. The play account report has been improved to display a running score of the game, always shown on the right-hand side. Um, I don't really know too much about that i mean i don't even know some of this stuff you would even really want um it incorporates the major league baseball rule changes so you're going to have dh in both leagues as a default i would assume they'll give you the option still um for any given season even last year to not have a dh if you don't want one but and then normalizing the air ratings. Now, this is kind of cool. They're going to normalize the... Uh, you can normalize the air ratings uh, to make them more current day. Like if you have a mixed league and maybe you have the 1919 White Sox playing in a league with uh, current day players, obviously the 1919 White Sox are going to make a lot of errors, a lot more errors and uh, maybe even possibly not get to as many balls as some current day players can get to, but this will normalize the ratings and make it so that the 1919 White Sox fielding-wise can compete with the modern day teams and vice versa. So that's kind of cool. Um, Super Hell pinch hitting and running. Uh, this dialogue now includes a generate button that will allow complete will completely regenerate all pinch hitting and pit pinch running lists. I don't really know what that means. I guess we'll find out. Um, let me click on generate computer manager. Well, page not found. All right. Well, I guess we're not going to look at that then. So anyway, I don't, I'm not really sure what that means, but anyway, we'll, you know, with any of these changes, um, when, when the new games come out, it's just, you know, you look at it, you experiment with it, you see what it's got. Um, some of the stuff looks pretty cool. Looks like, I mean, you know, because in the past, some, like, changes were, like, seamless changes that really didn't affect almost anything, and the game was exactly the same. So uh, we'll see if that's the case. Some of these changes seem pretty solid. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, I just wanted to give a quick talk on, you know, the, you know, everything is out. The pre-orders are up. You can go in there and order. So what's everybody thinking of ordering? 
I'd be interested to know if anyone out there is really going to get the Strat Black. I mean, $150. I collect. I'm a collector. But I'm not going to pay $150 for a card set. So, um, I mean, I'm just not going to do that. No plans to do it. Maybe months down the road, if it's still around, if there's still a set around and they haven't been all bought up, then maybe I think about it. But right now I got no I, no uh, intention of doing it. So uh, let me know what you guys think. <coughs> but that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.